Hey there, YouTubers. <coughs> Something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, by the way, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA. It's fun. Thanks for tuning back in. Uh, I want to show you how to, on a user form, how you can take buttons, and whenever you hover your mouse over the button, they'll kind of jump out at you. And I'm going to show you a different method to do that here today. So without further ado, um, actually, before we... No, let's hit Alt F11. We'll go ahead and get the user form in place by clicking that button and going to user form. I'm going to put uh, at least one button for starters. Here we are, command button. And that's fine. I think I'm going to make it like square. And um, no, I'm sorry. Well, let's, let's also try it with an image. I'm going to pop an image on there. That's this symbol right here. And uh, what we're going to do, let's right click and go to properties. You can also hit F4 to toggle that. And in the properties menu here, I'm not so much worried about it being called image one. That's an okay name. When you go to the picture right here and you browse for a picture, I don't really have anything really that I can use. So let's hop over to Google really quick, go to images, and we'll just look for, how about a sheep? Why not? We need a, an image of a sheep. So, uh, this one looks fine. Let's uh, click there. Right click on that image and go to save. Image as. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Let's just save it on the desktop. Keep it simple. Alright, that's fine. So now when we're in Excel, you go here, you go to the picture that you're on and easy enough it's on the desktop it was called images dot here is yours our sheep right there bam so it's a little zoomed in let's take um, uh, where are we at size mode let's do stretch perhaps stretch works what is the other one zoom no I like stretch better but you could adjust that any way you see fit Let's just put it back to a little square, a little square sheet button, and it might even make it a little smaller. There we go. Oh, too small. There we go. So what I want to do is on the mouse move, I want it to do something like perhaps um, what is it, some of these different styles here. No, forget the back style. How about um, what's this all about? No, no, no. Go back to center. Uh, where's the the special effects? We might want to take it from FM special effect flat, which actually is zero. You can also put zero, I imagine. So the, the dot special effect of the object is called image one, unless we change that name. So it'd be image one dot special effect equals zero is what it is now. And we want, might want it to be equals one or equals FM special effect raised, sunken, etched, bump, or we might even want the position to change ever so slightly. So let's experiment with a few things like that. Double click on the image that you have here, and we don't want the click thing. We want to do just when the mouse is uh, over the image. So let's do a mouse move. And I'll erase the click event here. So let's see, we got a mouse move here. How about whenever the image is. Yeah, whenever we move the mouse over, here's the code that's going to run. How about image one dot. Um, uh, special effect equals. Let's use flat. Let's just try that. Now it'll permanently change it unless we have something like uh, uh, a mouse move for everything surrounding that. So for the background, if we have a mouse move. So double click there, and we'll do a mouse move for the actual user form background. That way, whenever you move away from it, move your mouse away from the image one, then it'll go back to or change to whatever you want. So image one dot special effect is now uh, special effect flat, which is actually already is. 
we need to change this one to something else. How let's just do a, a, a raised one. See what happens. I'm going to hit uh, run. And okay, so whenever I put move my mouse over it, did you see what happened there? It went to special effect raised. And whenever I mouse move onto the user form, the gray part here, it does the command that image one dot special effect equals the regular old flat. So it's kind of fun. All right, let's get a little more, a little more creative with it, shall we? Let's say that every time that I mouse over this, not only will it be raised, but positionally we'll we'll change it a little bit. Image one dot uh, left. How about the left? equals image one dot left its current left position uh, minus two and image one dot top so the top um, of it is now going to equal the positional uh, of its top minus two I don't even know that if you'll that'll be noticeable because I don't know how many if it's two pixels or two whatevers but whatever it is now it's going to be or soon it's going to be whatever it currently is minus two so its leftmost spot will be over two and the top of it will be over or up two uh... so let's do that oh what the heck oh my gosh it's oh i can't i can't oh 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 and it's gone <laughs> oh that was a little unexpected i should have planned for that <laughs> okay but let's get its current position right now so that whenever we move the mouse away um, it will return <laughs> to this position okay the um, we need to get its height its left and, and its top and its width no the height and the width doesn't matter the top is 36 and the height is 72 so or excuse me, left is 150 and top is 36. So double click. So whenever you get to here, whenever you uh, mouse move over the um, the regular user form, here's you probably already guessed what I'm going to do. But image one dot left is going to be back to the original. What was it? 36. I might have this backwards. I'm going to check in just a second. Image one dot top is 150 uh, restored back to normal. Let's hit F5 and, and see. Uh, well certainly was wrong. I think I got those backwards. Zoop, zoop. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's funny. How about, let's do this. Obviously, this was 36, and this was the one that was 150, and if you're laughing, I assure you I'm laughing with you. And here's another thing I want to do. I don't want it to be bouncing around like that, because that's just silly. What I do want it to do is, not relative to where it is, but relative to the position that we want it to go to. So, for example, if I know that um, dot left of it is 150, then how about, let's say, I want it to be 152 when you mouse over it, and only 152. And this, I want it to be 38, for example. So let's copy and paste that. Um, or no, let's not, excuse me. The left is going to be, how about 152? And the dot top, the the top area is going to be 38. So essentially, we're permanently telling it that when you mouse over the image, we want the le it to go to this position and to that position upward. So let's hit that. Zoop, zoop. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Pardon me if I have a little fun here. Let's make this a little interesting. Changing the numbers a little bit, so zoop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, so I'm actually incremented. I sh I should have put it 148. Let's do 148 and 34. So typically a button will kind of go up and left, but you can do whatever you want, and you can even put a click event on it if you want. Make it seem more like a button. You know what I mean? You could do that on the click. Whenever you click, you could have it do this instead of a mouse over. But that's just something that you could do. Let's do that with a couple other buttons, and we'll have a whole little section of nice little buttons, or pictures rather, that act as a button. Why am I moving that? Control Z. All right, let's do here. Let's do another image. Copy, paste. Control V and Control C. 
let's use a different image. Let's go back to Google here. Um, there's a nice picture of a sheep. I bet we could do better. Wow, that's a nice one. I like that. Here, sheepy sheepy. Save image onto the desktop. Woolly sheep. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to the picture. Change that one. We are on the desktop. There it is. There's our sheep friend. Alright, so we've already got that one zoomed in because we copied the features from that one to here. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So now we're going to double click on that one. We don't want the click event. Again, we want the mouse move. And I'm going to copy all this good stuff and I'll just change it to image 2 because I see that that's the name of the current image I'm on. Now, uh, hmm. We may not. Uh, we may need to actually look at where that image needs to go. All right. So currently, that image is left of 234, and a top of it still 36. So 234 should be like 232. Yes, 232. And this should still be 34. And then furthermore. Well, the user form mouse move anytime you um, move the mouse onto the user form. Now we have to adjust the um, the image two property. So pretty much just copy and paste all that stuff. The special effect is going to be uh, the flat one, and then we're saying image two dot left is going to be equal to whatever it is now, which is, I guess, 234. Image 2 dot top is 36. And now let's test that. Bloop. Bloop. Whoop. Whoop. Whee! Bouncing buttons. Now let's do a click event just to make it complete. Let's see. This one, let's do a click. When they click on that image, it will do this. Message box. Sheep number one. Awesome. And when they click on this one, it'll say, there's our click event. It'll say, Sheep, sheep number two. Excellent. Let's try it. Alright, here we go. Click on sheep number one. Sheep number one. Click on here. Boom. Sheep number two. Hey, everybody. I hope this helps you. Uh, certainly will give you something to play with. There's lots of features you can do on the mouse over or mouse move. Uh, and, the, and, of course, the click events. You can do that with a button. You can put images on a button. We can go over that. But, uh, I don't know. Sometimes images are just more fun. <laughs> Shape number one. Thanks for watching, everybody. And God bless. Shape number two.